Christ Palace International Ministries. Number two, fasting is ordained to avert judgment and curses. When there is a curse, when there is judgment, fasting can change it. Jonah chapter 3 verse 8. 40 days, the city of Nineveh, they are come to die. Every Judgment is coming to them. The king said, look at the king. The king was not a Christian. He was a heathen king. But he had intelligence of fasting. He said that, now that we are going to die in 40 days, the only thing which can help us is fasting. Let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. I believe in planning. I believe in studying. I believe in administration and organization. But there comes a problem where intelligence and administration will not work. Can I repeat? There comes a, pro- a situation where counseling will not help. There's a situation where you can talk to the child again and again. It won't work. This is the time to put down food and say, God, intervene in this matter. Let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. And cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn everyone from his evil way. And from the violence that is in their hands. Next verse. Who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not? Next verse. Go to verse 10. God saw their works. What was their work? Fasting. That they turned from their evil way and God repented of the evil that he had said he would do unto them and he did it not. When he saw fasting, he changed his mind. Fasting is potent to avert judgment. One day there was a king. He's called King Ahab. So that you know him, the wife was called Jezebel. When your wife is a witch. Jezebel was a witch. She was a priest of Baal. She was the only one who could make Elijah, the man of fire, run away. So the wife was powerful. One day, the prophet Elijah, Elijah came with a prophecy against Ahab. and said that God said, I'm going to disgrace you. First Kings 21 verse 20. Look at something. I want you to understand that fasting is the tool. If you understand fasting and you know how to use it, you can change situations in your favor. I have said to Elijah, so you have found me, my enemy. <laughs> Every now and then you can meet an enemy. I have found you. He, he answered. Elijah did not deny that you are not my enemy. He said, no, I have found you. <laughs> he answered, because you have sold yourself to do evil in the eyes of the Lord. He says, I am going to bring disaster on you. I will wipe out your descendants and cut off from Ahab every last meal in Israel, slave or free. I will make your house like that of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, and that of Basha, son of Ahijah, because you have aroused my anger and have caused Israel to sin. And also concerning Jezebel, the Lord says, dogs will devour Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. Dogs will eat those belonging to Ahab who die in the city, and the best who feed on those who die in the country. This is prophetic word against Ahab. There was none, there was never anyone like Ahab who sold himself to do evil in the eyes of the Lord. Edged on by Jezebel, his wife. He behaved in the vilest manner by going after idols like the Amorites the Lord drove out before the Israelites. Can you imagine an evil king? Very bad. God confirmed he's bad. But look at what the guy is going to do. It looks like those men knew the power of fasting. Amen. When Ahab heard those words, he tore his clothes, put on sackcloth, and fasted. No, no, no. Your wife is a witch and you are fasting. You are evil. God said you are evil. I'm going to curse you. He said that the only thing which can help me in this matter is I'm going to fast. He lay in sackcloth and went around meekly. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah the teach by the gate. Can you imagine? God spoke to Elijah. Go and tell this guy. Another word came to Elijah. I've said something else. By fasting. Have you noticed how Ahab has humbled himself before me? Because he has humbled himself, I will not bring this disaster in his day, but I will bring it on his house in the days of his son. Ahab did a fast, and God postponed judgment. And said that the judgment will come in the days of his son. If the sons knew how to fast, they can also postpone the judgment. Can I talk to somebody? It does not matter the family curse, the generational curse. Maybe your grandmother suffered it. Your mom suffered it. If you fast, it can skip you. I said it can skip you. Maybe there's a generational curse of financial or poverty in their family. Everybody suffers. They get money, they lose. They get money, they lose. If you learn to fast, by the time it gets to you, you can end it or it can skip you. You can teach your children that this is what I suffered. 
if you practice fasting, you escape the woes and the troubles I went through. This is an evil king. How much more you the son of God? This guy was bad, 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 not born again. Fasting provoked and attracted God's attention. When you fast, you get God's attention. He can change his mind. He can shift judgment in your favor. Number three, fasting makes you spiritually sensitive. Listen. The same way there are radio waves in this place. How do I know? You have a phone. The moment you pick up your phone, you have text message. Somebody will call you. Your eyes cannot see the frequencies, but you know there are frequencies here. In the same way, there are spiritual messaging from the realm of the spirit to you. The way to be sensitive is to fast. If you fast, you can pick up spiritual signals. Many people, they pray, but because they don't fast, God is speaking to them and they are dull. They can't pick up the spiritual signals. Acts 13 verse 1. Let's jump to verse 2 for the sake of time. Glory be to God. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called. Paul and Barnabas were with them. They never heard that these people should be sent. But when they fasted, God said, Ah, I need these two people. God has been telling them, Pick up these two people, but they never got the signal. If you fast, your spirit becomes sensitive. Something happened. Where's your. Yes. Where's, get my phone for me. Let me just read the testimony. She was tired from work and she was not planning to fast. And the mom said, because you are tired, don't fast. But there was a said that, no, fast. Just fast. Just fast. And somewhere, somehow, she decided to fast. Look at what happened. It's just two days and look at the testimonies already coming. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. He said, let me read to you shortly. Shalom, pastor. The fast just started and God has already shown his mighty hand. The last three weeks have been very hectic with work and I have barely rested or slept well. And my mom was a little worried about me during the Daniel, during the Daniel fast. She asked me to start next week and I refused. I insisted I would start yesterday and I said to her, there is no point in trying to delay the things of God and that you never know why he wants us to do things at a particular time. God is great. My brother is scheduled to come to Houston this weekend. Yesterday, I randomly decided to call him around 11 p.m. I never really call him that late. So normally, there's no way he will pick up the phone and call the brother around 11. But in the midst of the fast, she picked the signal, call your brother 11 p.m. I then, she, she didn't, he didn't pick. I then left him a message to call me back. He was heavy on my mind yesterday. He just called back this morning and said that when I called him, when I called him, he did not pick up because he was headed out to drop his friend who was visiting on the airport. Barely a few minutes after my call came in, a drunk driver ran into him. He spent the night in the hospital, but to God's glory, he was cleared of any serious injury. The brother is sitting here. Be on your feet. Yes, that's the brother. What if she did not fast? So, when we fast, we pick up signals. Thursday, I was ministry and I went to Lady J. I was praying for people there and when I was coming, I saw Valerie. And I said, have you had a dream about Valerie? Because I saw an attack. She said, no. So I prayed for Valerie. L last night, she had a dream. And the dream, she was supposed to pick up, which I prophesied about, which was not there. She got the dream last night. And people were about to shoot the girl. But she, did, she was delivered in the dream. Yeah. How do we explain this? When we fast, we pick up signals. So, in this season, this is the time to hear from God. Some of you want to make a decision. You have been trying. This is the time to steal yourself and hear from God. At times, when there's so much food inside you, your mind roams about. <laughs> but when you're hungry, you, you lie quiet. Even when the children are the same, hey, quiet, quiet, who is that? I, I need some peace of mind. Why? There's no energy to waste. You are still. Mm, be still and know that I am God. You have become sober. Now, fasting releases all the blessings of humility because fasting is a way to humble yourself before God. Ezra 8 verse 21. Fasting is a way to humble yourself. So when you fast, you are humbling yourself and all the benefits of humility belongs to you. There by the Ahava Canal, I proclaim a fast so that we might 
humble ourselves before our God and ask him for a safe journey for us, our children, and with all our possession. So when you fast, you are humbling yourself. Yeah. Are you on the same page? Yeah. Psalm 35 verse 13. When you fast, you are humbling yourself. One of the days you are sure you are humble is when you are fasting. When you are fasting, they shout your name say, who is there? How are you doing? I'm fine. Suddenly you become calm. Fasting will humble you. <laughs> but as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with... Oh, can you shout it? I humbled my soul with... Fasting. So fasting will humble your soul. Then, if fasting is humility, what are the benefits of humility? So that you know that as I'm fasting, I'm humbling myself. So all the benefits of humility are mine. Number one, First Peter 5 verse 5. Likewise, younger, ye younger, submit yourself unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another. And be clothed with humility. For God resisted the proud and giveth grace to the humble. When you fast, grace is released unto you. Yeah. I can't feel you. I said, when you fast, grace is released unto you. Yeah. So as you are fasting, know that the reign of God's grace is, de is descending over your life, your business, and your family. All forms of God's grace is coming because you are fasting. Amen. Next verse. Humble yourselves. How? By fasting. Therefore, under the mighty hand of God, and he may exalt you in due time. It means when you fast, your elevation and your promotion is certain. Can I prophesy to somebody? I release promotion, upliftment, elevation in the name of Jesus. When you fast, you are humbling yourself. And God will release grace, number one. Number two, God will promote you. So expect promotion. Expect elevation. Expect upliftment in your life as you are fasting. Amen. Are you sure you are expecting it? I am expecting when you fast, you are humbling yourself. And when you humble yourself, God will promote you. Grace will be released. Number two, when you fast, you become a host of the manifest presence of God. Amen. We all carry God's presence. But... Some people, when you meet them, you know that ah, these people carry more than the others. But it's the same God. Fasting conditions you in a, in a position where God manifests easily. Because God is interested in a certain class of people. They are called the broken and the contrite. Isaiah 66 verse 2. I want the NIV please. Fasting will make you a host of the manifest presence of God. Has not my hand made all these things? So they came into being, declares the Lord. These are the ones I look on with favor. Those who are humble and contrite in spirit and who tremble at my way. So when we fast, we are humble in spirit. We are broken. Isaiah 57 verse 15. Glory be to Jesus. And look at what God said. For this is what the high and exalted one says. He who lives forever, whose name is holy. I live in a high and a, low, a holy place. But also with the one who is contrite and lowly, humble in spirit. To revive the heart of the contrite. So when you are fasting, you are broken, you are contrite, you are humble. And God said that I manifest about such people. So the easiest way to access the manifest tangible presence of God is when you fast. Because when you fast, you become broken and contrite. And David said, God, there's a type of sacrifice he wants. It's like the same way there's a type of soup you like. A type of food you want. God like a type of sacrifice. What was it? Psalm 51 verse 16. Fasting makes you that type of sacrifice. Don't forget the Bible said, present yourself as a living sacrifice. Because he's looking for that type of sacrifice. Which is it? For thou desired not a sacrifice. Else I will give it. Thou delighted not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken. A broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, you will not despise. Can I get verse 17 in the NIV? When God sees a certain type of food, he cannot resist. Is somebody with me? Yeah. And when you fast, you become that type of food to God. God cannot resist you. He said, my sacrifice, oh God, is a broken spirit. A broken and a contrite heart. You, God, will not despise. You know, certain foods cannot tempt you. You can look at the food and say, hmm. But certain foods, you will look at it twice and say, hmm. That's how God is. When God sees a broken, a humble, and a contrite spirit, he cannot resist you. 
He begins to give you attention. And when we fast, we get God's attention. There's so much more to the benefits of fasting. I want to encourage you and motivate you. Fast, take advantage. Expect tangible, dramatic turnaround. Something strange and uncommon will happen for you. When you fast, it fastens your life. It makes your life fast. Some of you, this 10 days will be 10 years. I said this 10 days will be 10 years. Some of you, God is bringing total restoration into your destiny. Be on your feet and let's pray for a moment. Marunga bahash. Vele gete kedes. Bebende behes. Veli graba de gedias. Veli menge de gedias. Lift up your two hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I come to say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. I release. I release. My heart, my heart unto God, unto God. And, I and I receive promotion, promotion. Elevation. elevation in the name of Jesus. Name of Lift Jesus. up your voice. Let's pray in 30 seconds. Maranga. Promotion. Elevation in the name of Jesus. 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 Now listen to me. I want to pray this prayer. If you are in the service where Ahab received the prophecy that you are going to die. Your dogs will eat you. And dogs never eat Ahab. You will say that the prophecy was wrong. Is that not correct? Talk to me please. Because I was there when God said this bad thing will happen to you. But you don't know what Ahab did in the room. Ahab went to change divine verdict. It does not matter what you have done. It does not matter what the case is. By fasting, you can change divine verdict. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can't feel you this morning. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power. By the power. Of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. In the evil verdict. In the evil verdict. Evil judgment. Evil judgment. As I fast and I pray. As I fast and I pray. Is diverted. Is diverted. Is postponed. Is postponed. Is cancelled. Is cancelled. Lift up your voice and pray. Finally, Marangash. Ipele bada dadi adaya. Pele mananda dadi andosias. Vevele babam. In the name of Jesus. Now close your eyes, lift up your hands. If you are in this place and you don't know Jesus, we can fast, but we must be born again to connect to the very throne of the land. Watching us online in person, you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. You want to make him your king and your everything. Repeat this prayer after him. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, declare, I declare you are the Son of God. Son of God. You came into the, world, came into the world and you died. And you died. On, the day, On the third day, you resurrected. You resurrected. Right, now, right now, I receive the forgiveness of sins. I receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I'm energized. I'm empowered. I'm a living sacrifice. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your two hands. Father, right now, I command that testimonies, dramatic shifts, dramatic turnarounds are happening right now in the name of Jesus. I demand preservation over your life. That long-awaited miracle that miracle job, miracle babies, miracle promotion, miracle money. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything which has hindered you so far, receive the strength to do. In the name of Jesus. Receive grace to do in what you have to do. Go where you have to go. I cast stress. I cancel stress. In the name of Jesus. I speak peace into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And Father, you do for us more than we have asked you. In Jesus' mighty name. And everyone shouted a living amen. Amen. Christ Palace International Ministries.